Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. I just want to briefly talk about blood pressure and blood pressure measurement. This is not a clinical course, but I at least want to introduce the topic. So what you see here is a sphygmo manometer, which is the pressurized cuff that's used along with a stethoscope that allows you to take blood pressure. So blood pressure is it, blood pressure is measured in your systolic over diastolic pressure, and I'll show you where the, where the sounds come into play in just a moment. Normal blood pressure is considered 120 over 80. Um, 140 over 90 is when you start to see serious problems with high blood pressure, but we now know that uh, we see some increase in kidney disease and, and stroke risk at even lower numbers. So really any blood pressure above 120 over 80, if it isn't clinical hypertension, it's at least pre-hypertension. So you do want to keep that number down. Now, I would say as low as possible, but obviously you can get too low of blood pressure too. But 120 over 80 would tell you that the blood pressure is uh, 120 millimeters of mercury mercury would be the systolic pressure, and then 80 would be the diastolic pressure. So at this point, right around 70 million Americans do actually have hypertension. So this is a very, very serious problem. They like to call it a silent killer because the first symptom is, is often death or something very, very serious. You don't know you have high blood pressure unless it gets very, very high. All right, um, so the sounds that you're actually looking for when you take someone's blood pressure First of all, when you put the pressure, the cuff on and pressure at it, there won't be any sound. So the first sound you hear, with well, the first carot cough sound that you hear through your stethoscope, is going to be the systolic blood pressure. So when the pressure in the cuff has finally gotten low enough for the blood to start to whoosh through. So the first sound is the systolic pressure. Then you're going to listen as you slowly reduce the pressure in the cuff until you hear the last sound. The last carot cough sound would be your diastolic pressure. So you take the first sound over the last sound, and that would be how you measure someone's blood pressure. Okay, I just wanted to quickly introduce you to that. At least you know what a sphygmomanometer is if someone's talking about it, and you know the basics of how to take someone's blood pressure. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.